adding animations to your website can dramatically improve the results of your entire site. In this video, we're gonna go over five sites and we're gonna explain exactly what animation is doing for them. Let's jump into it. Now, the first thing we've got here is frame.io. Now, frame.io is a great tool where you can add comments and talk about something in a video that you wanna change. And it's used by everybody in the media. In fact, we use it on this channel to give comments back and forth. But this is a website where, so for now, it's mostly static. We've got this slight interaction here where the section above it kind of overlaps it, but Overall, nothing too crazy, nothing too crazy. We've got some gifts here, but as soon as we reach around halfway point here, we start to see this incredible animation. So it's taking us into the lens of the camera and that kind of breaks up the entire flow of the site. For now, until there, it's been feature, 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 keep everyone on the same page, all the comments in one place, hashtags, whatever, but it's pretty boring, right? It's pretty standard. We've got an image or media on the left or right and then text, that's pretty standard. But then we get to the middle part here and it why is it taking us into the camera, right? Why are we doing that? Why does it even matter in the first place? One of the benefits of creating an animated experience like that on your site is gonna be for improved engagement. Now, until then, it was pretty boring, pretty static. We've got this grid going on here, but it's pretty simple. But until then, people can lose track. They can lose interest in your site and what you're talking about. It's too much text. It's too much of the same thing that people see everywhere, kind of these boring layouts. And then we get to this part and it kind of takes us through this entire experience and we say, okay, now I'm hooked. Now I wanna see what's gonna happen after this animation. Animation. And after we see this animation, we stay till the end because we're wondering if we're gonna get to see something else. We're wondering if we're gonna get to see something that's gonna impress us again because we didn't expect it the first time. So the second time might be just as good. So we stay till the very end. And what happens is nothing too crazy happens. We get some of these sticky animations, but nothing too crazy. And then we get the footer. So that halfway point kind of breaks up the whole site and it makes it easier to move on to the next sections. Now in this one, animation is a critical part of the entire experience. Now I'm calling these experiences because I don't think that the average site should look like this or should function with this complexity. But in this case, it's critical for the functionality of the site. And the reason being is animation is driving the storytelling of this site. Now this site is almost like the storyline of a video game. I'm not 100% sure of what the game is because I'm not really in that world. But this is a great example of how you can use animation as a benefit for your site. It's not a cosmetic thing. It's not something that is unnecessary in this case, we actually need it to help us tell that story. We get all these characters that are coming in and out with these animations. We get to see all these different NFTs that are being presented to us in this game. And so using these animated efforts, we can start to understand more and more about what the story is, what the storyline, why it's so important to even focus about this in the first place. And it's also a great way to open up this world to your users instead of just being like, hey, here's a slideshow, here's another slideshow, here's a static image. We can add these animations and these interactions that can help us guide the user into what we want them to know. Next up is going to be Heights Agency. Now this is an agency for branding and they have this very simple animation that once you hover over their logo here, Heights, click enter, it takes you into the experience that they want you to see now. It should be known that this is the about page for Heights. It's not necessarily the homepage. So keep that in mind when we're taking a look at this. But once we scroll, we get this animation that kind of expands the logo here. And then after that, it's quite simple. We've got this locomotive effect where it kind of sticks the, the scroll to a certain point and the text as well is sticky and starts to move around as we scroll. So what is the point of this and why does it even matter? Why should we even try to create something like this for a simple about page? Well, the reason being is this type of site is a lot more attention grabbing rather than just a very simple static site. Now it should be said that you do not need an animated or super interactive site for it to be attention grabbing. You can do that with a lot of other formats such as your layout, your contrast, your typography, all that should take a massive part in being a attention grabbing for users, but animations can also be a huge part of that. And we can see how that's being used in this scenario. Now, it's not a crazy animation that we're seeing here. All these, these small interactions, these small animations here, they're not a massive undertake to do, but it does add to the overall aesthetic, the overall grabbiness of the attention in this case. Now, the next one here is gonna be a very simple site. This is jams.basicagency.com. And once we get loaded into the site, we can start to scroll around and play with the only divs that we have in front of us. If you've never seen the site before, this is a page that creates playlists and publishes them on Spotify. And this is a way of showing those playlists and kind of explaining what the individual tracks are. And so once we click onto the album cover, we get to see the individual album so they kind of create like a like a record and then as we scroll we get to see the tracks and I don't know if you guys can hear that but we also get that very nice sound interaction. So what is the point of this and why does it even matter to create something like this for this specific case? Well, in this case, 
the animation helps us with the navigation. We get to see and understand that, you know, we're scrolling through what might look like something like an old record store where we have to flick through the individual albums or CDs or something like that, which is honestly lost with today with Spotify and Apple Music. But having this interaction, this animation allows people to feel like they're back in that old store, flicking through all the albums, the CDs, and this also helps with that. So we get to see that with this animation, it's helping us understand what the entire point of the site is going to be. And that also helps us with the navigation, with the branding, with the overall user experience. It's a better experience in the long run if you add these type of animations than if it was just a very simple, boring site. Now, lastly, we have ventriloc.ca. So Ventriloc is a data website. What they do is that they help you understand data and create visuals and things like that. And if you think about what that kind of company looks like, what that kind of company is, you know, what I picture is black, white, maybe a light blue in a massive sky rise, you know, quite boring branding. But what these guys manage to do is they managed to create this orange, this red, this white, very warm kind of branding. And the animation in this case helps us understand that branding better. So we have these small interactions that help us understand what they're actually doing with this data. You know, the data visualization, these small lines help us tell that story of that data. And as we scroll through here, we get these cards as well, which help us understand different clients. And these are testimonials. And I love these different cards because you can read their testimonials in a fun way without having to click through the slider, having to understand and okay, yes, 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 cool. You've got these different logos, these different people, but this is a more collective way of bringing that together. So in this case, the animation helps us with branding, helps us also with attention grabbing. So once we click on this, we see that line that just goes in and out and that helps us stay focused on the site and be paying attention to whatever it is that they're about to show us with this cool animation. If you guys enjoyed any of the sites that I just talked about, then please do let me know down below, leave a like, subscribe, do all those things. If you guys have any recommendations of any sites that I should take a look at, also let me know. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.